In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove some unwanted hiss noise using Isotope's RX Spectral Denoise plugin. So basically, what you want to do is you grab a section in the audio where you have no musical content. So here I have and a recording that was extended like way past the point of where there's actual music content and in between each of these notes there's a little bit of uh, audio stuff going on right here and this is actually musical content so I'm not going to take a snapshot from this section so if I loop this and play you should be able to hear there is a lot of hiss and there's more hiss than there is musical content. But you can hear that there's some uh, remnants of the note um, in this audio source. And what I'm doing here with this plugin is I'm trying to take a snapshot of everything that I want to remove. And if I leave whatever musical content in here, it's going to take a snapshot of that musical content mimic it and then it's going to take that out of my entire audio source and I don't want that I want just a small section like this section here and this is where I would want to have a snapshot of what needs to be removed so what you want to do is find that section for me I'm just gonna loop it so it's so I don't go over the amount and you activate the plugin and hit the learn function then you can go ahead and loop it like this and it's taking a, a snapshot it's um, grabbing all the frequency spectrum and in variation by frequency like this and it's taking that snapshot and that's what's going to remove be removed from the entire audio source because this is an insert plugin right now when I go and play the, the song, or the, the musical content, I can make the adjustments here. So by default, these are linked. And right now it's not reducing anything, because I haven't set a high enough threshold and I have zero reduction here. So I'll, I'll start with this. Uh, right now I have it set at the highest quality and the lowest uh, artifact control. If I turn this up, I'll, I'll try and demonstrate. It doesn't, it doesn't do the musical content justice. So if I put high reduction, high artifact control, So we'll do that versus this. Here you see it kind of helps preserve some of that transient. So I keep it all the way down here. The high quality and low quality, I honestly haven't tested, so I don't really know uh, how much of a difference that's going to make. But I figured I'd just put it on the highest quality. Um, and then for the reduction amount, I'm cranking it right now and you can actually set a threshold and the higher I set both of these the more it, more of the natural musical content it, it will actually remove so right now it's like super clean but I do know or I know because I've looked and I've tweaked some things is that it is removing some of that transient quality to it and I don't I don't want to sacrifice the the transients or anything musical just to get that like last 5% of hiss removal right so what I do is I actually decouple these and now what I can do is I have a separate control for tonal re uh, removal and this noisy removal as well and what I noticed is when I do tonal removal is that it doesn't really do much at all. There's still all that crazy amount of hiss. 
So really it's not doing much at all. And if I output the noise only, and I turn this up, it's honestly, it's not doing anything. And in some cases, this might actually remove some of the musical content again. So you might want to split this and figure out what's going on, what works. Now when I do noise removal, I can crank it and figure out a, a certain setting. So here you can hear it's removing tons of hiss. If I set a, th a different threshold, it's honestly, it's not making that much of a difference. And like I said, I don't want to remove 100% of the hiss. Something more like this. And that's about all I would ever want to remove. And now... Tons of hiss to this. And it's as easy as that. Just one plugin, find a spot, use the learn function. It takes a snapshot of whatever's going to be removed from the audio source, and then you set and tweak the threshold and reduction amount and maybe fine tweak some of these uh, artifact controls and quality you could even go into the advanced settings I, di I didn't see a point of doing that but and then here we go and now what I could do if I wanted to save CPU is I could freeze this channel and then I'm no longer using uh, real-time processing but my computer is good enough that I don't even have to do that I could just leave this plug it on and everything is hunky-dory. So hopefully you guys like that. The, I, I know I've actually made a video on the Isotope voice denoise and that works in a similar way is that you can do the learn function it takes a snapshot of like an EQ setting almost and then you have a reduction amount and a threshold and you can set it for dialogue or for music content and each one has its own purpose. This one, in this case, tons of hiss and a nice musical recording. This one seemed to do the trick like just perfectly. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and take care and bye bye.